let's take a look at percent of change. So percent of change is a ratio that compares the change in quantity to the original amount. And I want you to highlight that part right there because this is where people will make mistakes. It's always on the original amount. So how do we find the percent change? We are going to find the difference. We're going to set up a proportion to solve for that percent change and then state whether it's an increase or decrease. So your proportion, right? We have our general percent proportion. So we have a percent here that we are solving for. We have the change or the difference between the two over the original every single time. Okay. So let's look at this first one. If the original amount was $56 and the new amount is $63, Okay, we have a blank proportion out of 100. We are solving for the percent. We want to find the difference between these two. 56 to 63, the difference is 7. And we put it over the original amount. And then we're solving that. We're trying to figure out how much did it change from the original. So I'm going to multiply. 7 times 100, which is 700. And I'm going to divide by 56, which gives me 12.5. We were talking about a percent. And whether it's an increase or decrease, the original was 56, the new amount is 63. It increased from the original. So it's a 12.5% increase. Number two, another just kind of blank generic one. If the original amount is 29, the new amount is 25. So every single time we are solving for the percent, we're finding the difference between these two. 29 minus 25 is four. And over the original amount of 29. So to solve, I am multiplying four times 100 which is 400, I am dividing by 29, which we get a long decimal, I'm gonna round it to about 13.8%. And then it went from 29 originally down to 25, that decreased. So it's a 13.8% decrease. Now let's look at it with some real world problems. Number three, during the 1993-1994 school year, there was one computer for every 16 students in the U.S. public schools. There was one computer for every 5.9 students during the 2003-2004 school year. Find the percent change. So we were at 16, the original, and the new is 5.9. Just making note of that. So... As always for these, we are solving for the percent. I'm gonna find the difference from 16 to 5.9. That is a difference of 10.1. The original amount, what they started with in 1993 was 16. So we wanna know how much it's changed since then. So we're gonna solve 10.1 times 100 equals 1,010, divide by 16, and we get 63.125. I'm just going to round that to 63.1%. Was it an increase or decrease? Well, we started with 16. We went down to 5 point, or sorry, we went, yeah, we went down to 5.9. So it decreased over time. Sometimes people get mixed up with this question because they're like, well, no, it's better now. There's more computers. You're correct. The number of computers increased, 
but the number of students that had to share a computer decreased. Less students needed to share. All right, number four. In 1965, when John entered college, the tuition per year was $7,500. In 2005, when his daughter went to the same school, the tuition was $25,500. What percent did the tuition per year change? So we're solving for the percent. Finding the difference between these two from 25,500 5, 25, minus 7,500 is a difference of $18,000. And then over the original, the original amount was 7,500. So we're going to solve 18,000 times 100. is 1,800. And we're going to divide by 7,500. And we get 240%. OMG, tuition has changed a lot. And it originally was 7,500, now it's 25,000, so it increased. A 240% increase over time. Okay. Number five, we're looking at Ariana estimates that she spent $230 at the mall. She actually spent $245. Find the percent error round to the nearest tenth. So we are going to look at what percent out of 100. The difference between these two. 230 and 245 is 15. So all of this so far is the same for percent change, right? We found the change, the percent, found the change, the percent over 100. The only difference with percent error is percent error tells you how big your errors are. It is calculated as a percentage of the actual amount. So it's not necessarily the original number given to you, it's based on the actual amount. So Ariana estimated 230, but she actually spent 245. So that actual amount is what's going on the bottom. And then we can solve. We're multiplying 15 times 100, which equals 1,500. Dividing that by 245. And I'm gonna get a long decimal I'm going to round it to about 6.1% error. So she was off by about 6.1%. Let's try that one more time. An object has a mass of 35 grams. On Anthony's balance, it weighs 34.85 grams. What is the percent error of his balance? So we're solving for the percent. We're finding the difference between these two, which is 0 0.15. Remember that it's on the actual amount. So the object has an actual mass of 35 grams. Anthony's balance weighed that much. So the actual amount is 35. And we're gonna multiply 0 0.15 times 100, which equals 15. Divide that by 35, and we get about 0 0.42857. I'm just going to write a 0.4% error.